Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's Promo, and today we'll be taking a look at the brand new Samsung Wireless DeX. Now as of right now, the Wireless DeX is a part of the brand new Galaxy Z Flip 5G. It's a part of the upcoming Galaxy Note 20 series, as well as the Z Fold 2. Samsung DeX was already super powerful. You're able to plug it into a computer or a monitor, so this way you're able to run any of your programs and applications from your cell phone on a larger screen. Now, wireless DeX brings all of that without all of the cables, and you're able to do it in the comfort of your own living room on the couch. So how you're able to start wireless DeX is you wanna pull down the notifications panel. You're gonna move over into those quick settings where it says Samsung DeX. Once you choose on that one, it might pop up right here if you wanna connect it to a TV at this moment. It's because it was already paired with this downstairs TV, but when I moved back, I'm able to choose any of these two TVs. So I'm gonna choose again the one that is right in front of us. It's here in the basement. And then once you turn it on, the cool thing about it is that you can still run wireless DeX on this TV, but then you can still have free full range form of your phone. So what I mean by that is let's say that we go inside of the touchpad. So you wanna pull down the notifications panel, go to the touchpad, and now this is what is moving the mouse on the TV. So let's say that we go right inside of the applications. You can also use two fingers to swipe. And let's just say that we go inside of YouTube. Now, if we wanted to watch something on YouTube, I'd be able to actually just head back home. And if I was already selecting play, you can see that wireless DeX is still there. It would still play the video, but I can still have full range of my phone so I can do text messages, phone calls. Now to get into and move around everything on that TV up there, if you pull down the notifications panel, if you choose this option here to use your phone as the cursor. So now as I move this, you can see that it is moving the cursor on the TV. Now, if you wanna go right back inside of your, your touchpad, you just pull down the notifications panel, you're inside of your touchpad. Now, one thing I do suggest is when you're inside of the touchpad, pull it down one more time, go to touchpad right there. So this way you can see all of the tips and tricks that you're able to do with your taps, with the tap with two fingers, swiping with two fingers, pinch and zoom or, uh, with your two fingers. You also have a touch and hold. Here's your touch and hold and move. Uh, this one's also tapping with three fingers, which will go back tapping with four fingers, which is gonna show the application screen. Uh, swipe down with three fingers, which is going to view recents or home screen. Uh, and then you can swipe left with three fingers if you wanna switch between applications. So there's a lot of things that you're able to learn, but again, it's all gonna be right up there on the very top in your notifications panel when you're already open with your touchpad. You just touch right here and you're able to read all of those uh, tips and tricks again. So one of the things that mentioned was that you're able to do basically a tap and hold. Um, I'm gonna tap and hold. This is how you're able to move around all the different screens. So if you needed to move that screen there. Now, one of the other things I do wanna show off is that when you do go over inside, uh, something else you might wanna take a look at is going to be inside of your settings. And then once you go inside of your settings, go to your Samsung DeX. And then inside of here, this is where you have that screen timeout for connected display. You can also change the font size, screen zoom. You can change your wallpaper auto hide of the taskbar. You can have your keyboard show up on the screen. Uh, as of right now, the on-screen keyboard location is going to be the phone. So the nice thing with this one here is let's say that we get out of the settings. Let's say that we move over inside of our applications. And now once inside of applications, we're gonna go inside of messages. Now inside of messages, let's say that we wanted to start a brand new conversation. Uh, and then we tap right over here. So you can see here on my cell phone, the, the keyboard pulled up. And then this way you'd be able to simply type because for a lot of people it might be way easier just to type things inside of a normal keyboard that's sitting right here. Uh, and it's actually pretty much flawless. Now going back inside of these Samsung DeX settings, uh, you can see here that I am using two fingers. The two fingers is what is allowing me to scroll up and down. Uh, you do want to also maybe take a look at your mouse as well as trackpad and inside of the mouse and trackpad This is where you can change the speed of your pointer uh, Your primary button or mouse button you can either keep it on left or move it over to right the flow pointer to phone screen Show touchpad when dex is running uh, and then touchpad gestures So some of these gestures we're talking about with those, you know tap with three fingers 
uh, tap with four fingers, you are able to go inside of here and you can change uh, what any of these tapping with three four, you know, fingers and four fingers do. So if you don't like the presets, you are able to change it, or you can also fully get rid of them and switch it over to none. Now, another thing you are able to take a look at is once you open up the application tray, move over to check out apps for Samsung DeX. Now, once you choose this option here, you're able to take a look at more uh, applications that you're able to use with Samsung DeX. Uh, but again, that's probably gonna be something for a later video, something that's a little bit more in depth. I really just wanted to show you how you're able to use uh, and how it works, how it looks using wireless DeX with the brand new Galaxy devices. Uh, right over here is gonna be your quick settings. This one's gonna be all of your notifications. Uh, you can still go through here. You can turn off the touchpad there. But again, the best way to get out of everything is just go right over here and click on exit decks and then you are now done and complete but i hope you guys have liked this video if you guys did please give this thing a huge thumbs up don't forget to hit subscribe subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side and if you like this video then more than likely you'll also like this video and i'll see you guys later